Is it worth it? Will Hassan Reddick eventually get what he wants? What's up, y'all? I'm JC. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Yeah, let's talk about this one. It has been reported that Jets edge rusher Hassan Reddick has lost nearly $8 million in fines due to his holdout. That is a lot of money. But let's rewind things to see how we got here. This past offseason, Reddick was seeking a new deal from the Eagles that would make him one of the highest paid edge rushers. But Philly didn't want to commit to such, therefore he was granted a trade and ended up on the Jets. The Eagles received a conditional third round pick in exchange for Reddick. For context, back in 2022, the Eagles signed Reddick to a three year, $45 million deal. 2022 season, Reddick tied for second most sacks in the league with 16, tied for first, most forced fumbles in the league with five was a pro bowler and second team all pro 2023 season 11 sacks and a pro bowl selection the final year of his contract would have paid him 14.25 million dollars in base salary which currently ranks 19th among edge rushers reddick will be turning 30 soon so you definitely see why he wants to get a new deal done asap when you look at his production over the last couple of years and you factor in that this will most likely be his last major contract again so we see why reddick is pressing the issue but let's listen to what reddick had to say about his contract situation during his intro jets press conference this past offseason how do you look at it is it up you're on the last year of your contract you said like you said it's a business is this a place you hope is a long-term home is, are you looking at this like a one-year situation or have you believed there's a chance you guys could get a lot an extension done uh, you know all options are open um right now currently just worried about being here meeting everybody that's in the building today uh contractual stuff i'm, I'm leaving that up to my agent and, and joe to figure out um you know but whatever happens i'm i'm, I'm going to be happy for her. i'm going to give my all no matter what that's just who i am as a person so no matter how it goes how many years I, i'm going to be here for however long i'm here for and i'm going to give the team the fans everything that i have cookie cutter good pr answer if you will that was the first and last time that hassan reddick was at the jets facility so it seems like reddick wanted to have a deal in place before moving forward but the jets wanted him with the team first now in august reddick requested a trade from the jets but the team shot that down quickly in the moment they said that they had no intent to deal him so at this point we're just playing the waiting game to see the next move will reddick end his holdout and report to the team he's already lost a lot of money and will continue to if he sticks with this holdout will the jets give in and trade reddick or will the two sides come to an agreement and get a new deal done something to think about jermaine johnson tore his achilles in week two against the titans and will miss the rest of the season johnson one of the jets best defensive players seven and a half sacks last season and a pro bowl selection so maybe maybe that will push the jets into getting a deal done with hassan reddick but i want to hear from y'all in the comments let me know your thoughts on this situation